Hello and welcome back to this Pokesock Draft League. I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, the coach of the Lumios Lucarios, and welcome to this Round 8 Clash. So we're going to face the Cinnabar Cyndaquils today, led by Jammy Guy. This match is going to be very interesting. Two teams placed very ne much next to each other in the league, having had similar runs of form. Neither really setting the league up light, despite being better on paper than results may show. Obviously, the Cyndaquils did win against the Sebi Vipers last week, so they'll be rounding a bit of momentum going into this, while we just need a confidence-boosting win, and we know a simple win could transform this season around. We're aiming for the top half of the table, and it's going to begin here with a win. It's got to, or we're going to be in some serious, serious trouble. We're already up against it, but here we are. And let's have a look at how the teams line up, starting with the Cyndaquils. They're coming in with Mamoswine, Suicune, Clinklang, Arcanine, Megalopony, and Cinchino. Quite a threatening team in that. Suicune is always a threat, very, very bulky. Clinklang can potentially be difficult to deal with. Cinchino with a skill link is a big problem to face. While Megalopony is one of the better Megas in the game, especially with that scrappy ability, extremely high attack, and very, very fast in general. So that is going to be the biggest threat on the field, which we have to deal with. So how do the Lucarios line up? We're coming in with Lucario, obviously, Alola Marowak, Type Null makes its return, Rotom Wash, Araquanid, and Alolan Muck. That is our squad. The one that I believe can get the job done today. But the only way to find out is by watching the battle. So without further ado, let's get ready to Poke Rumble. All right, here we go. And this guy actually had the nerve to jump into one of my practice games and try and spy on my team. So there's gonna be a lot of salt here if I go down. I'm going to really pull out He's come out with a Cinchino. In comes Alola Muck. Yeah, okay, it's a readable lead for me, but this thing with Skill Link is no joke. However, we have Power Up Punch on this thing, and I'm not sure he's going to expect that. It's not stab, but it is super effective. It'll raise our attack, and we can. We still have the chance of poisoning because we have Poison Touch. The question is, will he connect all five times with his strike? I mean, well, obviously he, he will, but in this case, will he hit with the five-turn moves? Because they aren't 100% accuracy. He misses Tail Slap. Let's go. Power Up Punch does a bit. We've got the attack boost, so we should kill this next turn if we connect. I could just straight up go for the Poison Jab here and get the kill. He goes get Tail Slap this time, and there, yeah, it's definitely Skill Link. 100% at skill link. Poison Jab gets the kill. All right, we're one up here. Mug did take quite a bit of damage, but it did a job. And with that attack boost, could... Oh, clink clank. I have Fire Punch, though. Fire Punch might be able to do something to this. I mean, Mug's probably going to go down soon anyway. So, I mean, if we can get some damage off before we go down, it will help on the differential side. See if we can't take out the clink clank quickly. Or do we risk switching? Because I have uh, Lightning Rod on Alola Marowak. And I have a feeling this thing gets... Oh, I know this thing gets Discharge. Steel Time moves aren't going to do an awful lot. But it, it does have high special effect. He substitutes. Interesting. So now he knows I've got Fire Punch. Substitute's gone. Just spam Fire Punch. Oh, Z-move. Gigaball Havoc. That's where I should have switched. That's where I should have switched. That was a mistake. Already. Okay. Here comes the Alola Marowak. This is the Pokemon he saw when he jumped into my match. And I'm not sure if he knows about Lightning Rod. He, he's probably guessed it's Lightning Rod. He switches out to the Arcanine. Fire Punch. And there's Flash Fire. Crap. I have Earthquake. As long as he... I don't think he gets Knock Off. What the... He bulldozed. Really? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. Absolutely not. Shaman Dave is a destroyer. He was, he's 
we've got we've built a bulky Alola Marowak here. Hopefully we can take a few heads. I mean, Bulldoze was a strange choice. Oh, in comes the Suicu. Not a fan of staying in on this thing. That being said, Shadow Bone could do a lot of damage, or do we want to switch? A Raquinid could eat up a lot of things, because I think Bug's neutral, and we can just start spamming stockpiles and things like that. Which could actually be the way to go right now, actually. Or do we want to go with someone else? Lucario? Because this... Suicune only runs Toxic. Oh, he's Calm Minding. Oh. Okay. Well, we can match that with stockpiles. Oh, he switches to the Clink Clank. I don't want to stay in on a Thunderbolt on this thing, even with max investment. So we're switching to Marowak. And he substitutes again. Alright. Well, I mean, he clearly knows that I... Yeah, he's going Gear Grind because he knows I'm Lightning Rod. Fire Punch breaks a sub. Gear Grind's probably going to kill me next turn if I stay in, though. And I don't want to lose Shaman Dave. Shaman Dave can do a lot of damage to his team. And I mean a lot of damage. Oh, this is a problem because I... I also want to think about Differential as well, even if I'm trying to win. Like, I need a good win here. He switches to the Suicune. Fire Punch does nothing. I should have... Mm, I, I generally thought he'd go for the kill there. Because Clang Clang outspeeds me easily. What's the Suicune going to do? I mean, is, is he going to go for what? No, he switches to Mamoswine, stays in, and Shadow Bone does so much damage. So much damage to this thing. He's probably got Ice Shard, though. Ice Shard does a lot to me. Ah, uh, who eats it best? I do have many, quite a few resistances to ice. If you go, uh, Rotom Wash, just in case he goes to the roof. I was expecting an earthquake. Not knockoff. Okay. That's a slight issue. Hidden Power gets the kill. Because we outspeed. Even without our item. Uh, Mare's the Megalopony. Okay. He's probably faking out, going for fake out first turn, so we'll try a Hydro... Uh, it doesn't really matter what I go, he's going to fake out, and he's going to probably kill me on the turn after, unless I switch. I've got Justified on Lucario, so that's not... Oh, he's mega -ing. He went high jump kick. What? Thunderbolt. Kill! Oh, he survived. Okay, he's... If he lands high jump kick, we're dead. Do I switch? Or do, no, no one really... Uh, Araquinid might be able to eat... Yeah, actually, Araquinid does eat it. Or do we risk staying in? He's mi We're not even Bright Powdered. Like that... Oh! Oh, that is game. He missed... He actually missed two high jump kicks. That... That is calm for you slipping into my uh, match earlier. Obviously joking, disclaimer here. La 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 la! <laughs> There's Clink Clank. Uh, do we have speed this? Because if we do, Hydro Pump will kill. Or do I switch? I mean, I also have Hidden Power fighting on this. Which is purely for the Lopany. Hydro Pump gets the kill. Let's go. Okay, Suicune is his last Pokemon. Thunderbolt. Yeah, a couple of Thunderbolts would kill. What does he actually have for me, um, move-wise? I think his better is to try and stall out Differential, and he's not going to make that. I j Ooh. Maybe he survives because of Leftovers and Carmine. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. That is game. That is a big win for the Lucarios. Finally got to cut loose in a match. A very strong win for the Lucarios in the end. A 6-1 triumph over the Cinderquills.
a massive confidence boost going forward, especially as our next few games are going to be extremely difficult as we're facing three of the top five uh, trainers in this um, league in performance-wise. The Basically, the three we haven't faced in the top five, and it's only going to be diff more difficult from here to make any ground on the top eight. The win was much needed. Let's have a look at the results elsewhere. You can see the Flareons destroying the Turtwigs. Uh, the Survipers going down in a very entertaining 6-5 clash against the Apoms. The Araquanids destroying the Porygons. There's a few blowouts, to be honest. The Araquanids, uh, the Empoleons um, getting a massive win. The Ponytars um, getting a big, big win as well. And the Pukumukus coming in clutch as well with a 6-1 win. So, big scores all round, pretty much. And let's see what that does to the table. As you can see, three teams locked on 14 points after eight rounds. We are at the halfway stage now, so the table is dramatically taking shape. Two, The top two are locked on differential, so your performance in rounds is going to matter severely in how much you win by. And considering we face three of the top five in our next few rounds, we have a big say in who could win this league. We could get blown out every game, or we could actually pull something out of the bag. You just never know on the day. See, the APOMs considerably behind on differential at the moment, but they have a chance to close that as they are our next opponents. Obviously, the Flareons and the Ponytars are closing the gap as well, trying to keep up the pace. The Empoleons now severely moving up the table in a very... Uh, strong vein of form right now and then the agrons and the surfetched closing out the top eight on eight points look at the bottom half of the table the lucario is looking a little better for themselves they are in a group of four teams on six points the survivors included in that with the porygons and the carbinks getting there th with three wins and ladder Good effort from them so far. The Cyndaquils falling a bit further behind. And, of course, the Mawars and the Turtwigs are the basement dwellers with a single win each. But, of course, there is a long way to go. This league can dramatically change before the end. You just never know with this. It's been an entertaining day for me. Thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share for more content uploaded every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. There will be no Draft League next week. Uh, the battle ha will be recorded by this point. However, next week is Christmas Day, and I will not be doing any uploads on Christmas Day. No uploads, no streams. I'm away from my computer. I'm taking a break from the Draft League. It will return the week after. And then the battles will be resuming from there. So, yeah, until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.